Hi guys and welcome to yet another new episode of Cooking with Elena. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some juicy grilled chicken strips. Now this could be served as a party appetizer and I'm telling you it's a complete crowd pleaser. So without wasting any time let's dive right in and let's get started. So I have me around 250 grams of chicken that I have cut into thin strips like so. I'm using chicken breast for this recipe because it's easy to cook. So to this chicken I'm going to add in some pepper powder, a little bit of some salt and I'm going to give it a good mix now. So I've mixed the chicken strips with some salt and pepper. I'm not going to leave this aside and let it rest for around 20 minutes. And meanwhile, I'll go ahead and make the second marinade. Here I have with me seeds of four green cardamom and around five cloves. I'm going to add this into a pan. I'm going to add in one cinnamon stick. So now I'm going to add in some coriander seeds, some cumin seeds, and just saute this for a bit. Around 3 to 4 red chilies, depending on the spice of the red chili and how spicy you like it. So now I'm going to add in 1 tablespoon of some fennel seeds. Now I'm going to dry roast this till all the beautiful aromas from the ingredients start releasing. And then I'm going to turn off the heat. So as you can notice, all my spices have changed colour and they smell amazing. So now I'm going to turn off the flame and transfer this to a blender. So I've transferred all my dry spices to a blender. Now to this I'm going to add one large red onion. Now I'm going to add in around 8 to 10 piece cloves of garlic and around 2 and a half inch piece of ginger. To this now I'm going to add in 2 tablespoons of some tomato ketchup, 2 tablespoons of some white vinegar. Finally, I'm going to pour in some around two and a half tablespoons of some olive oil and now I'm going to blend this into a fine paste. I ground all the spices into a paste and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to add this paste to the chicken that has been marinated with only salt and pepper. So I'm going to add in around two large tablespoons or two and a half tablespoons of this paste to the mixture. I'm going to mix it with neat hands. So I mix the paste to the chicken. To this now I'm going to add just a little bit of salt like maybe a pinch or so, mix it in well. So I have mixed the paste well to the chicken and let every piece of chicken coat well to the mixture, like the spice mixture. Now I'm going to let this rest in the refrigerator for a minimum of 2 hours. You can let it marinate for overnight and it will taste amazing the next day. But if you are in no time, like just like how I am right now, then let it rest and marinate for 2 hours minimum so that the flavours incorporate well with the chicken and every piece of chicken is juicy and filled with flavour. So now I'm just going to wash my hands and let this rest in the refrigerator for 2 hours and I'll show you what it looks like after that. So the chicken has been marinating for around 2 hours now. So half an hour back what I did was I removed it out of the refrigerator. Now the thing with any meat is if you're marinating the meat in the refrigerator then let it come down to room temperature. So remove it like half an hour before so that it comes down to room temperature because if you immediately take out the chicken and immediately place it into something hot the meat is only going to get stiff and it won't cook well. It'll just be chewy and rubbery and that's not something we want. So just let it come to room temperature once it's you remove it from the refrigerator and then now we can go ahead making it into curry or grilling it or whatever. So my oven has been preheating for around 10 minutes now and I have lined my dip tray with some aluminium foil. Now to this I'm going to add in a few drops of some olive oil. So if you have this non-stick cooking spray then you can go ahead and just spray some but since I don't have that I'm just adding a few drops of some olive oil. And now I'm going to add in the strips. 
just gonna line them one by one just like so so I'm gonna place this in the oven for around 20 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade I'm gonna let this cook for 10 minutes and then take it out and turn each piece to the other side so every oven is different so make sure you keep an eye on it uh, 18 to 20 minutes is what we're looking at at 200 degrees centigrade So my grilled chicken strips are out of the oven and they cook for exactly 20 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. After 10 minutes what I did was I removed it from the oven, I mean I removed the tray out of the oven and I turned each piece onto the other side so they cook evenly on both sides. And now I took it onto a serving plate and I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of coriander leaves and some onion rings. Some lemon wedges. And that's it. So here you have the grilled chicken strips all ready. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you can serve this grilled chicken strips as an appetizer by itself or serve it as a side dish along with some curry and rice. And if you have leftovers, then you can make this into an amazing wrap. Now you can check out my video for how I make this cottage cheese salad wrap and you can just substitute the cottage cheese with the grilled chicken strips and make an amazing wrap out of it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the recipe and please do share with your friends and family. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I make new videos every Friday so you can stay tuned to such interesting videos and recipes. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!